And now it's Yu Gi Oh! in real life Casca versus Bensei. Yes! Casca 20, as in, in, in Yu Gi Oh! the people who made Yu Gi Oh! movie series. There's clearly a much older video up there, so. Well, actually, it's uploaded by Thunderhawk. But it's interesting. I know that two of these versions exist. I know there's a Casca versus Bensei. Another Casca versus Bensei. Tomas using Dark. It, it's like they just switched freaking Tomas and, um. Thomas and, uh, Bensei's deck around. Those of you who don't know Cyber Dragon's effect. Some breaker, eh? Oh boy. We're gonna get that freaking 5 Bs thing where they tell you every card's effect. There's a spell counter, it's actually beat. There we go. At least it's clearly the end of this. Okay, we're face down. Bottomless. We use that on Breaker, but not freaking. Cyber Dragon. I think it's probably going to be more dangerous, theoretically. I'm sure Cyber Dragon has higher attack than Breaker the top card, and that's just going And the Glide Beast stood no chance. Why didn't you set Wobaku last turn? It's perfect for Glad Beasts. And of course, everyone has to run one Cyber Dragon because it was just that broken. We can go to Chimera Tech. Glad Beasts, Demi, Suicide. The one that can pop back, bro. You can see Be Beastiari was also his hands so before Beastiari got hit. I MST your MST, basically. God damn it! Is that well for the Why aren't you activating that Gladiator's Proving Ground? That deck thinning. Then again, in the case of the Glad Beast, they're also probably. Special spells make her way Contributed to summon Kaius back when this thing was everywhere. Because I get to banish a card and maybe do burn damage? That's OP! This year is wind attribute, so no burn. Attack. Fuck your express void. Didn't activate Wobaku. And again, he has so many life points, and that's better for Glide Beast, so can't really say I blame him. Attempt at Cowry again. Not again! Like 
glad beats. Oh, let's see, my monster was destroyed, then it goes back to the deck. It's like, no! Mermillo. Like, news play glad beats. At the end of the battle, yeah, at the end of the battle phase, it go back to the deck and then get a new one. It's just like, I, not when they're destroyed. It's just like, I don't know. And now I get to pop a card. Mermillo has the worst stats, but also one of the better effects. Maybe it's gonna be the same stuff as the Beast Gear, but I guess that would be too OP for the time. Oh god damn it! Of course I draw smashing after the monster's gone. Oh well. Yeah, you're going to guy Zarius. the boss monster. I don't care what you freaking say about what the actual Glide Beast boss monster is. It may always be this thing because this thing is the most devastating. Find some destroy up the two cards in the field. Ah. Sakuratsu. Bye. Then of course that gets shoveled because of Zarius drinking that. Thomas is at half health. You can activate the second effect. Yep, special two glide beasts from the decks. Yes, the deck. Except Bestiari. So you can't just be like, okay, I summon and then I defuse and I summon again. <laughs> Got two more cards, and you're like, nah, that'd be a little too much. Go into the quarry so you can go into the other freaking glad beast team. Or what about the vanilla? The yeah, quarry, who has now gained 300 attack points, and what other one you want? How about the hippo that gains 300 defense? No, you chose the. Okay, I know this one, and I don't know. First Lequari's effect gives him three extra attack points. He makes the attack points. And then there's the other one that we're getting. Darius. So I get to take one Glide Beast from my graveyard and special summon it back. So how about the one from the beginning of the duel? Dimikari. Don't bar the plane, folks. Are you not gonna contact Fusion? Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy? Yeah, and now part two, I'm combining parts because I, that's what I usually do. Previously, in the same duel, and we can tell there was a time passage because Thomas's hand switches places. Different dimension reincarnation. Start a card. And you can bring back a band monster. I assume Breaker. My prodigy. You'd probably be like, why do you run this? There's only one monster you can bring back. You can't bring back MST. I don't say this much, at least the effects in this thing are good. You know it does keep every car every five seconds, but at least the effects with the effects are pretty nice. You're gonna bring back prodigy, aren't you? Yep, level two. Synchro Shogun, Krishila! Or Mr. Now we're gonna go into a level five. Young Floria! Go! I hate being right sometimes. Move the fun. Who's Gregor gonna kill? Can suicide, but can't kill anything. Junk Glory destroys Darius. And the Quarry would be the smart hit considering he has the highest attack. Gee, he's at least damage to get rid of the most annoying one. Darius affects the ground as well. That's not much. 
mod that special summon has been. Ah, okay, that's what's smart. The mod that uh, Darius is on, the monster tracks back to attack him again. The breaker can't kill him before he's attacked one to two times. Before he's attacked one to two times. Okay. I activate Smashing! Lady your proving ground. Gonna get Bestiari. At a glad beast. E call for gladiator beast. Every archetype needs an E call. If Ice Bear is gonna have an E call, why not every other archetype? Yep, beast Diari. Summon beast Diari. I gotta say though, after all the whole monster effects and like this, this is actually kind of refreshing to see it go up fast and change the top I mean, yeah, there's still effects in the but it's just something kind of refreshing when you think about it. Back to the deck. Oh, guys, Zaris! Ha! Ha! Either way, he gets a field move. Top DDR, Breaker goes with it. Top Breaker, DDR goes with it. The only, way, the only way he could be stupid about it would be like, I pop breaker and DDR. Like, he didn't do that. But then again, guys, ours could beat over Britain. Jump Warrior anyway, so. How is Thomas going to abortion his way into a win now? And then Thomas draws a fifth piece of Exodia with no hand somehow. I summon Exodia. Obliterate. Fuck you, Thomas. I activate anime carved demise and draw all five pieces of forbidden one. I summon number C1000, Numeronius Numeronia. Just bullshit a bunch of stuff. And that's how I win. It's like. Sometimes Thomas is bullshit when he powers, feels like I'm there, or we just like, some kid who just makes up card movies. Like, you forgot about fucking Pot of Greed's secret card text. If I activate it, I win the duel. Just don't want to know these things. Anyway. You can add one Black Beast to be wide to his hand. Not bad. I think there's only one choice. Set your Wobaku. Stratos. Now for all of you who don't know Stratos' effect, I know you, you just got the ban list, you probably need a refresher. He allows you to draw two cards. Has anyone ever used Stratos' first effect? Like, I don't... I'm not saying it's never happened, I'm just saying, like, I've never seen it happen. Okay, Infernal Prodigy, how will that happen? First you need an empty field to activate. Oh well. At least Strauss can still do something. Maybe I should have activated fucking Wolbaku, rather said it still. Turn end. I like how this is at a time when evil heroes can still be considered maybe a one-off card. <laughs> Although she probably made before a season to consider playing Junk Warrior and all things. Probably like only the same clothes and get to be right? Then again, this is clearly like two friends in their college dorm, so they just can't afford any better. Ah, oh, goddammit. SMASHING! Thomas would be like, I activate Elemental Hero Battle Fader. Oh, now we just show him off. You don't even need to go into Geyser. It's you have game there. You should go out for a while. Overextending will be the death of you. Now I nuke my own monster. Wait. 
And now Bensei does something he can't do in the actual series without using someone else's deck. Beat Tomas. GG. Okay, Bensei, you can be in the movie series.